friends sitting on a beach and a wild dog walked up and ate part of my Bible. <laughs> ate a chunk out of the book of Daniel chapter 2. So this morning I woke up feeling kind of weird and I thought I just slept funny like the back of my throat was scratchy and I've been going about my day like normal and I was planning on going to this temple later <sighs> and now I just don't know if I'm going to be able to so new plan of action is to go to a juice bar and get some good juice healthy juice try and revive how I feel that way I think I'm also going to go to the convenience store and hopefully get like cough drops or something and then I'll go from there I don't know if I'm going to a temple today or not I ate at a warren yesterday that had really good reviews online but I just felt like I might get sick from the food and maybe that's what made me sick. Okay, mission successful. I got some good juice, some strepsils, which might be a UK brand. I've had them in the UK and some of these. I'm in a hotel right now that has a palm tree blocking the view that would be. Look at that. It also has a very large roof next door, reflecting sun. But that place up there looks nice. <laughs> no large roof and palm tree are clouding the view. My juice did the trick. Now I'm looking at these. I tried one of these already on my walk home. That was good. But these are peppermint lozenges, but they're orange flavored. So I'm not really sure what that tastes like. They say no added sugar, but they do have added coloring. So is it really that healthy? I'm going to try one of these. I want to know if it tastes like orange or if it tastes like peppermint. I thought it tasted like peppermint, which is why I got it when I got other orange ones, but it looks orange. That is orange peppermint. Tastes like both. It's a nice, it's a nice flavor. Peppermint orange. Who would have thought? And now I can't find my charger. My adapter. Actually, my phone charger. Because that is what my adapter is attached to. You know when you put things in a place and you think you're doing yourself a favor because obviously you would never not remember that the thing is in the place. This is one of those moments. It is nice only having a hotel room to dig through instead of a whole house or apartment. But seriously, how many places could that hiding behind my laptop. So I've reached the point in my trip where I'm almost done. I'm almost out of here. Honestly, 30 days is a really long time to spend in Bali. But I need to figure out what else I want to do because I'm running out of time. And there are a few things that I haven't gotten to yet. Obviously, depending on me feeling good enough to go trekking around, I just have to 
figure out my last few days. I also still need to figure out my next destination. I know where I'm going, but I have no idea what I'm doing because this is how I travel. So that's on the to-do list, although I don't think that's on today's to-do list. All right, I have decided I'm gonna try and go to this temple, which means I need a sarong. I am going to do some shopping. I have the time, I might as well. I'm feeling better. I'm not really sick, I'm just tired and my throat is scratchy, so I don't know. I am going to go to the little market and hopefully find some good things. Planning out the remainder of my days in Bali definitely puts things into perspective. I've got to get stuff done that I want done. <laughs> that there are too many local drivers over here and they will say nasty things if grab drivers try and come and pick up. So I'm walking up to where I can get picked up, although I'm not sure it's not worth it because the sun is almost there. It's kind of annoying because there are so many drivers around in grab uniforms. Okay, executive decision. I could probably make it, however, not even feeling the best and you have to pay to get in and so I'm gonna wait and do it when I have the time to do it in daylight fully. Thing experience has taught me that I could totally come to Bali without a suitcase and just buy all my clothes here. Right, I am exhausted and I just popped back to grab a beach towel. pretty as watching it over a temple, but I feel like when I have not done anything strenuous and I've taken two naps today and I'm tired, that's a sign. I'm going to a different beach than I was at this morning. Hopefully no wild dogs try to eat me.
some chicken soup called something I am. A-Y-A-M. She assured me it's not spicy, so let's do it. I am so ready for this. I think it's got noodles, eggs, lime. And this is what's hot. In a cardboard container. Okay, so honestly, this looks really good. I like how there's not the plastic takeout containers, probably because Bali knows that they would all end up in the ocean. Mm. Okay, so I'm trying to show it without dumping it. Looks like you've got the little bean sprouts bean sprouts, noodles, glass noodles, limes. Oh, all right. And I am going to, ouch, ouch, ouch. Ow! Somehow dump this in my soup, into the thing to make my soup. I have seen these. It's like really common. It's really common for Asian takeout to put liquids in bags instead of containers, which I mean, I think is brilliant because it does the job. However, I am one of those special individuals who is not great opening bags. I got it! And now I get to pour it. I think I'm going to put this in the other container and pour it like this. I'm so bad at pouring things. This is not meant for me. I've got a little bit left over. I'm glad I didn't like cut the bag open. And I have a beautiful dinner. That I'm making a mess with, but that's okay. Chicken soup, Indonesian style, hopefully. It's good. It looks really good. It looks like exactly what I want. Yeah, it felt not great. And, um, yeah, it's a, oh, there's chicken in here. Um, this is a good way to end mm, the day. I decided I feel a lot better having everything I still want to do written down. My planning this afternoon helped even though I didn't have time to go to the temple like I wanted to. I still have a plan for the final last few days of my 30 days in Bali. I feel a lot better. I am excited to be able to see the last little bits that I'm going to be able to see. It's been really good being here. It still is good being here, eating lots of Indonesian food, drinking lots of good coffee, and um, just enjoying Bali, a new country, and all it has to offer. I'm so happy I got a sarong because now I don't have to worry about that when I'm going to go places, and I think I'll have other uses for it later as well, so it only took me. <laughs> three quarters of the time that I've been here to get one but you know at least I finally got it cross it off my list thanks for hanging out with me today 
even though it didn't go as expected i am just going to take it easy i'm not signing up for all the things i want to do until i figure out how i'm feeling tomorrow hopefully a lot better but every now and again everyone needs a recoup day and that is what this has been and i finally got us a wrong so it was not a day wasted thank you for hanging out with me i'll see you in the next one